Now, far up in the Puget Sound, Indians from 18 ancient tribes have brought war canoes for a test of endurance, a three-mile paddling race. They're away, paddling 70 strokes a minute. Around the halfway turn with the Swinomish tribe's question mark in the lead. The question mark holds their lead as the panting Indians enter the last half mile. And she wins for the glory of the Washington tribe. Bring on your college crews. Bill Washington. Eight Indian tribes, four from the United States and four from Canada, are battling here today in an international speed classic. Each 50-foot war canoe is manned by 11 stalwart braves. And the race is a modernized revival of the bitter and bloody contests of aboriginal days when scalps were the trophies instead of prize money and silver cups. The crude dugouts take plenty of water, especially when the crews get excited. I think this one's going to sink. The race is a three mile and in just as grueling as the Poughkeepsie Intercollegiate Race. Now they're coming into the stretch and it's a close battle, but the Saanich tribe from British Columbia comes in ahead to win the Red Men's crew title for 1934. Some bunch of Indians they are. <laughs> from all over the great Northwest meet at Coopville, Washington. The big event of the powwow is the international race in which 10 war canoes, each manned by 11 braves, battle swirling river currents for a silver trophy and a pot of gold. From as far away as British Columbia, they've come to display their prowess in the big cedar boats that have come down through the generations to the pale face of today. Rounding a tight turn in a 55-foot canoe is a trick that even a trained college crew might envy. And then, as they straighten out on the return leg of the three-mile course, the Saanich tribes, Columbia takes the lead. To the Canadian Red Men go the silver and the gold as they win the event in record time. Speed to them is just an old Indian custom.